God created Adam and Eve. He said that it's good, it's all good, until one day he was walking in the garden and Adam was hiding and said he was naked and afraid. And I, the Lord said, well, who told you you were afraid? And what's going on here? Well, what did Adam say? The first thing out of his mouth was, well, that woman that you gave me. Now, that's probably a legitimate excuse, guys, right? How many men would you say amen to that? That, that woman that you gave me, how many men have ever, well, we're not. And then he turned to Eve and she said, what? Well, that devil made me do it. And from that day on, everybody's been making excuses for their behavior and blaming other people. We like to play the blame game. We've all made excuses for habits, for behaviors, for attitudes, for ways that we've hurt other people, things that we've done. So we're going to come clean tonight. And we're going to let the text, let the Word of God pierce our hearts and our consciences. Everybody's heard of Deion Sanders, right? Neon, Neon grew up, as I understand, on the mean streets of Fort Myers, Florida. He's the only professional athlete that I know of that, in the same week, hit a major league home run and scored a, a touchdown in a professional football game. The only, he's also the only professional athlete who's ever, in the same season, played on a Super Bowl game and in a World Series. He grew up, he said, with a lot of young men who wanted to be professional athletes. A lot of young men, he said, who were as fast as he was and some faster. But he said most of them never got out of town. Most of them never got out of the old neighborhood. He said because after school and after practice, they would go and hang out on the street corners. When he would practice harder, when he would do his routine. When he was trying to get better, he said they would slack off and they would, as he said, do drugs. And he said every time he goes home, he heard him talk and he developed a nickname for all of these guys that he grew up with. He called them a bunch of idas. He said they're idas. What do you mean by that? He said, well, every time I heard him talk, he says, well, if Ida... <laughs> 